Hi friends, this is Sanjay Parihar from uh, Houston, Texas. I'm a technologist and as we plan that we're going to bring uh, a lot of input from tour, tour industry. Um, and uh, here we are with uh, Mr. Justin Jost, General Manager and Joseph Sakaria, Head of Sales of Fragrant Nature Munnar. Welcome, welcome uh, you guys. In thank show. you Mr. Sanjay and thank you Mr. Anand. And uh, along with that, I'm, I'm here with Mr. Anand, uh, Dr. Anand Rai on the, um, from uh, GL Bajaj. Uh, thank you for joining Dr. B uh, Rai. Thanks for having me here. Yes. So, so while we are talking um, about uh, some of the covering of some of the innovations, especially post COVID-19 where our consumer have main concern, right? So uh, Mr. Justin, the question to you, um, are, how you are planning, and we are very curious to know how you are planning for the post-COVID-19. What are the measurements being taken? I am sure you must have thought a lot. So please go ahead. Uh, yes, so you can say like uh, the uh, the first. That means we put scene starts from there. From there, what we do is we will be getting our guest in a special car, I mean disinfectant car yeah. with a partition on which because the Cochin Airport is the nearest airport from here. Mm -hmm. And the cars already have the partitions now, almost like 200, 300 cars are already there with the partition. Mm -hmm. So separate cabin will be there. So the guest is always uh, transported to the hotel in that car, along with the sanitizer, the gloves and the mask and with all this. Uh, mm -hmm. Great. Great. So once the guest reaches here in the hotel, mm -hmm. again, there will be a thermal scanning mm -hmm. and the guest will, uh, and again, we will be giving the disinfectant on the lobby itself. And the max and the car itself, if it is an own driven car, we'll be sanitizing the car there itself from the mm -hmm. lobby itself. Mm -hmm. And what we normally we used to give cold towels or hot towels according to the climate here. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so, the, so to replace that, what we have done is a disposable hand uh, face right. towel right. that is being used. That is a new thing that we have implemented in these days. Right. So, guests will be given that and will be escorted to, to the room. The May, the in, interaction in the lobby it will be very yes. less uh, we'll be taking the check-in in the room itself fully you will not be keeping the guest in the lobby for a long time or waiting there the chicken will be there in the room only so, so that is the chicken pot yes and in, in when we go into the room the room will be the staffs will be going to the room very limitedly or yeah. we'll be assigning a set of staff only to the specified floors or to the rooms Mm -hmm. So only those staffs will be engaging with that guest or to that floor, it will be entering to that floor only. Mm -hmm. In the, that room itself we will be sanitizing twice a daily, uh, the room's mm -hmm. toilet. Mm -hmm. And even the linen also, what we are using, will be taken separately and washed. And mm -hmm. that is the guest part. And second yeah. thing uh, about their food and uh, is we will not be promoting too much of the restaurant service. We will be... Uh, we'll be what we prefer is we'll be giving the guests choice of in-room dining facility right. so that the social distancing will be uh, will be it's implemented on an effective manner it's certainly great it's certainly great i mean like you mentioned it's th thank you for uh, mentioning in much detail um, so social distancing in in a way or another is being maintained in each step of the um, you, know, whole, you know process so you're bringing a lot of new process and i'm sure technology will be part of that um, so yeah, any other thing you're doing on that? Yeah, apart from that uh, yeah. The main thing is the staff part as well. Staff All the part. staffs also, each mm -hmm. entry point, staff entry point will be screened with the mm -hmm. uh, with the th thermo infrared thermometer, and right. all, it, all the entry point will be there will be a provision of sanitization uh, hand sanitizer will be there, and right. gloves and mask will be worn by all the staff. Right. And this is not a single uh, time process. So it will be a continuous process, and after each two hours, what we are planning is after two hours, all the staff will be again surveilled and what we are planning is a separate person will be in charge of all this sanitizing in the, uh, in the hotel premises itself. He will be in charge of that and he will be maintaining a log of all these things. Mm -hmm. It's not just what we are doing, we will be maintaining a log of all the activities, what, right. what is happening along with the, apart from the guests, for the staffs also. Right. And regarding the purchases part. Say like well, almost like ninety percentage of the things what we are getting or uh, in the provision vegetables fruits is from our own con uh, sister concern called Aroma Fresh. 
so it's a oh. pesticide and chemical free mm-hmm. food mm-hmm. so it's not such a concern only so we can have a guarantee of the things that we are serving here and what we are using here and or again same uh, like this whatever things is coming in will be uh, sanitized as per the uh, covid 19 protocol only then those things will be entered into our kitchen or into our premises itself and all for that as, as yes, i told yes. you everything will be recorded as well all right it's great to hear that you not only you have control on the process and uh, other things but you have also control on the food part of which is very uh, which is not so common right and and uh, it's one of our us exactly so having a um, uh, you know food managed in the in the having covid 19 protocol way and and of course you apart from the quality of the food quality of the vegetables um you're also controlling the kind of covid 19 you remember so with covid 19 protocol from the place where we are, <clears throat> we are getting the food right so from the right. farm itself on the, on the receiving area it's a- great to hear great to hear about that um do you want to add anything or or i think it's a lot of information anyway in the for the covid 19 <laughs> yeah sure so so great um and, and now since since we covered quite a bit about the covid 19 uh post measurements uh, we will definitely our audience is definitely interested in uh getting to the location of the hotel and location is of course munnar one of the best place in the on the earth and um yeah, now when we talk about especially uh mr joseph uh, what are the location and usp yes. you think yeah yeah thank you mr sanjay so uh, let me just starting before now, let me introduce our group so yes. tiger nature is one of the uh, uh, i mean uh, companies of aroma group of companies mm-hmm. it is one of the products of aroma group of companies mm-hmm. our assisted our parent companies aroma group of companies having different different uh, divisions and one division is tiger nature other division is aroma hotico so aroma which we have our own farms in kerala as well as tamil nadu mm-hmm. and 70 to 80 percentage vegetables or whatever it is we are getting from our own farm mm-hmm. so that is organic a uh, food so you know that we have three hotels in kerala and mona is the latest edition which we started in 2016 april mm-hmm. the first property we started in kollam kollam we other you know we are uh, doing that on the uh, uh, next uh, session so mm-hmm. as still come to mona so as i said mona is our latest edition which is started in 2016 april mm-hmm. our property is almost 5600 feet above sea level one of the highest altitude area in mona Wow. Okay, that's the reason we have very good view from there. The aerial view, what you are getting from our property, is more than seven kilometers. You are right. seeing layers of mountains. You won't be able to count the mountains like you are seeing wow. a sea, and you can see the waves like it that way. Wow, wow. As I said, five thousand six hundred feet above sea level, and all the rooms are having uh, the view. The nearest airport, as Justin said, is Cochin Airport, which is one hundred and forty kilometers <coughs> by road. It will take four hours, and from our property to Monar Town. that's the main mm-hmm. area it's only 5 kilometers by road mm-hmm. okay so within 10 15 minutes time you can reach our property so that's a location advantage we have and our property next to our property is cardamom asulas coffee then tea plantation mm-hmm. so people can engage themselves also in the morning as well as evening mm-hmm. so location wise as i said it's a highest altitude you have a better view it's only 4 kilometers uh, to the more city center And then the nearest airport, that's Alwa near uh, mm-hmm. Alwa railway station. Again, that also 140 kilometers from our property. That's the location. Right. Okay. That's that's great. That quite a bit of information. So it's it's pretty close to um, you know reachable uh, international airports and and a couple of so reaching to there and Munnar is not very difficult. Uh, yeah. Now people are always having question about hotel uh, category, right? Um, and yes. uh, there are certain um, concept of uh, you know having that notion about what the what the category looks like what is your hotel category our property it's a classified government classified five star property oh, okay. so very limited hotels are having the classification mm-hmm. and only two hotels are having the five star classification our, our property is one among that mm-hmm. which many hotels know you the people may say that we are a classified we are a classified hotel we are a five star facility hotel there's uh-huh. a difference between five star facility and five star classified so ours okay. is a classified five star property and what is the difference between these two sorry um, let, let me ask this good thing so yeah. any peop, any person can say we have a classification i mean the five star facility mm-hmm. so first step facility has to be approved by the government or the authorities got it unless uh-huh. until you get another i mean other station it is not classified 
Mm. So you are you're saying approved by government basically. It's an approved, yeah. It's government. central government approved Pfizer Pfizer portal. That that's great to see. So, so I think uh, our our uh, suggestion for the cons- con- customer that they should definitely look into and they should not get confused into these two exactly. uh, different styles. Right? If you yeah. check any online portals mm-hmm. or any online ranking portals, now mm-hmm. our percentage is more than 90%. Wow. wow. If you take booking.com, it is 91%. So 9.1 is our uh, ranking. You take make me trip, go, I mean, uh, go IB, go, uh, go out of water, it is, it is 90 plus percentage. I won't be surprised and when it is already classified. Yeah. I won't be surprised and and thank you for uh, telling us that that in detail uh, t- t- tell more tell us more about hotel rooms uh, we are very curious yeah. about hotel rooms because one of those approved uh, by them yeah go ahead yeah. 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 Mona. so i'll just brief about the hotel yes. facility as well as room category as yeah. it's a classic five star property yeah and when you're coming to a property uh, you are just entering to the lobby area that is the ground level our property is plus two then minus nine it's on a valley so plus two, we have all the facilities and rooms are starting from minus one onwards till minus nine. Mm-hmm. So plus uh, the uh, ground level is coffee shop and reception. Mm-hmm. Plus one is restaurant plus bar. Plus two is our specialty restaurant mm-hmm. plus uh, the kids uh, playing area. Agriculture Monar is having total 43 rooms that is in yeah. four categories. Mm-hmm. As I mentioned, the rooms are starting from minus one floor. So uh, minus one to minus five, we have the base category room. So that's mm-hmm. we have total 27. The name of the base category is Tropic Green. Mm-hmm. Out of 27, uh, nine rooms are twin bedded rooms. Mm-hmm. Size of the room is 340 square feet area. And the base category rooms are having, having a huge, big size wall to wall window. So that's right. the reason all the rooms are having a good view. Mm-hmm. From the bed itself, they have a very great view. Okay. Coming to our second category, that's called Moonlight Bliss. Mm-hmm. Those rooms are coming 400 square feet area mm-hmm. plus a balcony. It is not a balcony, it's a terrace. Actually, half the size of the room is a terrace. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the room size itself is 400 square feet area. Mm-hmm. That rooms are 14 in inventory. Mm-hmm. Right. And those terraces, you have an amazing view. As I mentioned earlier, mm-hmm. no other hotels in Monar can offer our view or beat our view. Oh, wow. So that location we have. Wow. So come to your third category, that's a honeymoon suite. Mm-hmm. That's only one in inventory. Size mm-hmm. of the room is 750 square foot area. Mm-hmm. A small living area. That's ideal for honeymoon couples. Okay, there's a small living area, then to the bedroom, mm-hmm. bathroom with jacuzzi, mm-hmm. and a huge terrace. Wow. And from the bed itself, you can see the sunset. Beautiful. Right. Coming to our fourth category, that's our presidential suite. Nine, nine, yeah, a big uh, balcony there. Yeah, uh, you can conduct private parties also there. So a uh-huh. huge living area. There is a bedroom, bathroom uh-huh. with jacuzzi, and uh-huh. a huge step. This is uh-huh. four category rooms we have. Uh-huh. As I said, minus one till minus nine. Wow, wow. Two rooms are having a bathtub, but we won't recommend bathtub because uh, bath- if people use bathtub, no, uh-huh. uh, wastage of water. So we have a little, little concern true. about that. So, true. Right. True. Yeah. True. So this is four category rooms in uh, total fourteen <coughs> rooms. Four category. Wow. So so there's a lot of um, thought process there, right? I mean, like you said, basically a border and bunch of, and it's beautiful, uh, especially honeymooners and and families. They will have a very spectacular view from your property, which is not so available in even in Munnar in the different hotels, like you mentioned. And base category, we have interconnected rooms also. Interconnected, so like three bigger of family can, can yeah. right? Yeah, that's and the second category rooms, the balconies are interconnected. Interconnected. Oh, that's great. That's great. That so, wait while while we learn about hotel rooms from uh, you, Mr. Joseph, um, let's shift to Mr. Justin uh, uh, talking about some of the interesting part, which is cuisine, and he already mentioned some part of it. Um, so, Justin. Give us some more uh, information on on the cuisine offered there in the hotel. Oh, okay. As I as I told you earlier, all yeah. the things that we are getting is uh, we can say a specific side and chemical free fruits, vegetables, and our provisions as well. So mm-hmm. with that, whatever things that we are preparing, it's a special dish as such mm-hmm. because it's safe to eat us, which is very important these days. Right. And our restaurant or the, you can say the, our multi cuisine. This restaurant offers continental, Chinese, South Indian, North Indian 
and even some barbecues, grills, or whatever you want, you'll get it here. <laughs> That's what we we are offering, and we have a twenty-four hours coffee shop as well, where we can we have our own bakery. Mm -hmm. so, we have a, so we can have some cakes, pastries, all those things are available around the clock as well. I can. Uh, I can I can imagine the taste. Everything is grown there. Everything is owned by there, right? So I can imagine the taste. Definitely not something to miss out, right? That's yes, a, that's all. Even if you just eat a green salad, also you'll feel the difference. That's what I can uh, guarantee I can, you. <laughs> I'm hundred percent. It's totally organic, and uh, I totally, you know, that's a very important part which uh, has been taken care by the hotel very carefully. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. So in the evenings, we have a specialty restaurant is there, which uh -huh. is covered glass. Mm -hmm. Glass on top and also on the side as well. So that is our one of our specialities. Mm -hmm. And there we can, uh, it's a kitchen is also a live kitchen. So the guests mm -hmm. can see what's happening inside the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So that part they will be able to do in the evening also. Uh, they can just see what is happening in the kitchen. And the specialty there is the barbecues, grills, and the sizzlers. Yeah. Sizzlers. Nice, nice, nice. So, with the ambience and with the good food, it will be a great evening. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a fabulous evening, I think, and and with the view and all those stuff. Uh, thank you for telling that in detail, Mr. Justin. Yeah, actually, uh, that's very interesting facts you just uh, share with us. And um, so, of course, like the uh, noon and the evening is it's all full with, you know, mouth watering. Uh, I would say the 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 cuisine. Uh, but at the same time, you know, if, if let's say families and kids are there who are uh, staying in your hotel, so I'm sure uh, there must be some, uh, you know, activities for kids uh, your hotel might be having. And apart from the hotels, if you can just share uh, some of the outdoor activities, if, if these people uh, wish to go out, uh, outside and see nearby areas, if you can just share some thoughts on that. Okay, okay. Uh, talking about the kids first because they are also very important as well because yes. many of our uh, we get families as well so right. the kids we have a, we have a separate menu which is for them catering for them as well say like uh, mini burgers some uh, cheese rings all those sm small small mild items we have kept a separate menu for the kids as well so the kids can cho uh, choice get a variety of choice in that so that is the uh, food part of the kit apart from that we have a kids play area where the kids can engage themselves with some foosballs, caroms, chess, a mini basketball, yeah, archery. All those things are there indoors. As well as we are having a very good garden. So the guests, uh, these kids can go out, outside and there is an amphitheater as well. So they can just play some football there with a volleyball, whatever. So some small out, outside activities and games are also there for the kids as well. Okay, so that's so the kids part. And for the adventure lovers and other things. In the mornings, what we do is we are having a organizing a walk with a naturalist, which is a, he's a, one of our staff and he's a naturalist. He's a, he's a local boy. So he, he'll take the guest in the morning. This area is having a lot of indigenous special birds like Malabar, Whistling, Thrust, and many birds are there. And the uh, other flora and fauna is also there. So if when you are going for a walk, you'll be able to sport some giant marba squirrels or some barking deers. All those things are very common during the morning walks. So, an one and a half hour to two hour walk in the morning will really give you a energizing before the breakfast, what I will say. So, almost like I will always suggest my guests to go for a morning walk first, refresh mm -hmm. themselves, come for, and then come for the breakfast. That's one of the activity that we do in the morning. After in after the breakfast and all, what generally the guests can do here is they can go for the sightseeing. As you know, this uh, Munar itself is famous for the tea. So there are many options here. Say like tea factories are there, like low cut factories where you produce the orthodox teas, or there are factories run by the Tatas in the uh, Matukati estate. There are three four factories are there which is open for the public. These guests can go there. There's a small fees is also there, like 100 rupees or 200 rupees. A small ticket is also there, but still, it's a very good option to see how the tea is being manufactured rather than just seeing the tea, the mm. green tea, what, what you're seeing around. You can just uh, see the process, how it is being right. made as a tea powder. Tea leaf is getting into a tea powder. The guests can actually see it and mm. have a feel of that. Mm -hmm. So, that is another option. And there is another thing called tea museum, which is again the 
under the uh, Tata T or the KDHP, what we call here, this Colonel Devon Hills Private Limited. So they are having a tea museum. In there, you'll be having an explanation for around 40, 45 minutes about the tea and the history of Munar. Uh, and this, it's a miniature factory. So there are different options for the tea. And apart from that, there are some uh, sightseeing places are like we are having Matupati Dam is there, Kundala Dam is there, Echo Point is there, Shooting Point is there, Mariur Sandalwood Forest is there. Uh, so there are many Rajamala or the Arabic National Park which in mm -hmm. tourist attraction that you can find in Muna. So these are the day day activities. Wow. Uh, I guess you can do it. Maybe for one, it's it's not just limited for a day, at least for two days it should be there. Uh, so, and after coming back in the evening, again, we we give some other activities for the guests. By evening, 5 o'clock, we'll take the guests for a tea plantation walk. Okay. Again, uh, so it'll be, uh, uh, along with the sunset, you can enjoy the tea plantation walk along with our naturalist. Mm. Then when, when you come back, you can have a cooking demo. It's the daily 6 o'clock, we have a cooking demo, uh, which is a free activity. So the guest can at least one item uh, from the local cuisine will be uh, demonstrated and the guest can have the feel and taste that at least they can try also they can get the recipe from the chef and they can try that in their home and right. then after right. that by seven o'clock again we has we are having an amphitheater and daily bonfire is being done there along with the live music so that makes a day Wow. In fragrant nature, more now. Wow. A lot of, lot of, lot of engaging activities uh, throughout. So, in fact, in a sense, I would say that your hotel is, uh, you know, complementing the Munar uh, city as, as a whole, uh, beautifully. You know, Munar mm -hmm. is beautiful and your hotel has a lot of activities to engage your uh, customers. Yes, yes, so, that's exactly. great. Uh, so, I mean, so this is, this is uh, I'm sure, uh, the laser, uh, you know, activities or the families uh, related uh, things which you have just shared. And I'm sure uh, the, the hotel must be having some kind of facilities for business travelers as well or uh, must be, uh, you know, uh, thinking in that direction. Uh, so, so what is what is the kind of facilities you offer to uh, the, the business travelers? And if you can show, th show I mean, uh, throw some light on the, the uh, wedding uh, facilities, uh, because Indian wedding is again, like a lot of, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah, cues and lot lot of uh, yeah. importance are to, to yeah. and uh, so what what are the facilities you have uh, for, for wedding purposes also? I think he uh, yeah Justin yeah Joe, okay uh, but see we have we have a bank I think Joseph has gone <laughs> uh, because uh, we have a banquet hall which can accommodate up to eighty people on a theater style along with the along with the dice. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is a facility for the conference. Apart from that, we have the audio video facility as well. And the conferencing, whatever things that are needed for the conference we have, we already have done three, four uh, national level conferences like parliamentary committees and all, uh, or like BHCL or Indian Oil Corporation, all those um, companies conferences we have already done and we are mm -hmm. proven it one of the best in this place. Mm -hmm. So that is a uh, conference. Apart from that conference hall, we have facilities in our garden as well. We have a very widespread garden. So we can take guests up to say like 150 or two, around 200 people. We can take, we can uh, uh, have lawns are there. So we can have the dinners or, or cocktails or whatever it may be. We can uh -huh. do it like that. Also. Since Munar is being uh, picking up as a very good uh, uh, wedding destination as well. People don't mm -hmm. want to just be themselves at the city. They want to explore uh, good places or new scenic places or a viewed uh, with a very good ambient uh, climate. So people are trying different things. So we mm -hmm. offer that as well. Uh, we are, since we uh, may uh, not all the people cannot be accommodated in our hotel, but in our nearby, for example, if they have a bigger crowd also, we can take that. And we can just accommodate them in our nearby hotels. It's almost similar right. to our kind of like that. Also, we can do it. Great, great. And while well, Mr. Joseph has also joined, um, I'm sorry, uh, no problem. Problem. connectivity problem here. I know, and uh, and internet is under stress big time anyway. <laughs> yeah, right. in the COVID nineteen. So we were talking about this business uh, and wedding. Um, we got quite a bit of information. While the, we are uh, from yeah, while we are about to wrap up our call, is there any um, other highlight which we want to bring here? 
we were talking about uh, the uh, business travelers no right okay right. so i mean as i told you earlier no tiger nature mona is a class b five star hotel and that's the reason we were able to last three years we were able to do mm-hmm. uh, four parliamentary conferences mm-hmm. and uh, close to 10 residential conferences we were able to do in mona itself mm-hmm. and our plus point is if we have a i mean occupancy 50 percentage with the fats we don't take any conferences because it's a distribution from for both of them right and if any conference we get in advance then automatically if they take 50% occupancy you know then uh, slowly we'll tell other people that we have a presidential conference happening right and if you have any disturbances please you can go for other hotels we tell them in advance because once they check in it should not be hassle for them uh, because we have experienced things in my in my previous career i mean uh, previous uh, assignments so that's the reason we made yeah. sure this is happening we are informing the clients properly right and coming to our uh, conference hall facilities we have so mm-hmm. the yeah. size of the conference hall is 105 square meter area mm-hmm. adjacent to that we have a open air deck so we can do a conference day conference and followed by a theme dinner in our open air deck the 105 square feet i mean square meter i said then we can accommodate 100 packs in theater style and close to 15 in plus style Right. So, if somebody is taking our hotel, no, like uh, we have hundred packs, uh, what do you call conference hall, and if they divide the uh, people also, they can even if they take the maximum rooms or the uh, all rooms, no, they don't need to go search for other hotels mm. because if they take our full inventory, forty three, so almost close to ninety packs or hundred packs, we can accommodate there. So that's the reason that we did our conference in such a way. apart from that we get, get we are getting inquiries from companies they want to have two or three conference halls mm-hmm. so as i said as just informed earlier we have a uh, kids play area on the f- top floor so that can be converted as a conference right so we make team building we may take team building activities also we have a nice amphitheater there there we can evening we can provide the uh, bonfire along with mm-hmm. some recorded uh, songs and dance and all we can provide there Mm-hmm. So there's a conference mm-hmm. facility. Then yeah. Wi-Fi is complimented in our property Absolutely. for all in-house guests. Then we have a nice business center there. Then we have a nice gymnasium also there. Wow, so there's, there's so you know I, I think there is so much detail that we can keep continue talking and and um, yeah. it's a so thank you for providing the detail while we are about to wrap up the call because of the timing um, and uh, I think we have covered quite a bit. Is there any other thing which you want to cover quickly? Uh, as said, as Jensen mentioned earlier, uh, two three things I want to mention. One, fragrant shimona. We are not only offering the accommodation; mm-hmm. we always incorporate the local activities. As you mentioned, near to our property, as I said earlier, uh, there are tea plantation, coffee plantation, cardam plantation, mm-hmm. and it is not the organized plantation. It's a proper plantation. Morning when we send people for the nature walk, they'd be able to. They'll be seeing minimum forty to fifty. Uh, species in that area, birds in that area. Right. They'll be able to see near forty to fifty, and out of that forty fifty, you know, thirty are, I mean, uh, from that area only. You'll be able to see those birds only in that area. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's it. so. We offer lots of activities along with our package. Right. There is a trekking area, so the client has to walk up at four thirty, and it's almost forty forty minutes minutes drive from our property. Mm-hmm. So they're reaching a valley, then they have to climb another fifteen twenty minutes. by reaching on the top no they can see the sunrise below you so they can have a nice coffee there so people who's interested in activities that's the reason we are getting many scandinavians in our property they come and stay for four or five nights though mona is a yeah mm-hmm. it's uh 2.8 or 2.9 right our 30 40 percent people are staying more than three nights that's and our usp is the food what we are serving is 100 percent organic food <laughs> That is only the best. Oil, that's yeah, the best. Only thing. oil, meat, and fish we buy from outside. The rest, many things are from our own farm. Yeah, that that's that's a great thing to hear. So, while we are um, now we are about to wrap up the call, um, and uh, it's a great detail. Uh, uh, I'm really thankful to you, uh, Mr. Justin and Mr. Joseph. This is great information. And thank you so uh, much for giving us an opportunity. Absolutely, it was pleasure to talking to you, Mr. Panjai and Mr. Desi. Yeah. and uh, so yeah uh, uh, so i think uh, it is aligning with our mission of helping um, hotels and tour industry in this tough time when uh, we kind of uh, 
we want to we want to ensure that you know that they've been helped in this time and uh, uh, let's see what happens next. So with that thought, exactly. thank exactly. you very much for joining the call. Oh, for the thank best. You. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye